In Office 365, I'm going to show you how to add a new user. So assuming you're logged in as the administrator for your portal, we're going to go ahead and click on Admin here. And every administrator is going to have that admin icon. If you don't have it, it means you don't have those rights. So you need to ask someone to add you or email Microsoft support. Let's take a look at Users, and we'll click on Add a User. And we'll put in our test user. And we'll have a user name. So typically, this is going to be your email address. So let's go ahead and just choose whatever format your company has decided. In this case, we'll do first name and last initial. Choose your location. You also have contact information if you want to put in job title, although you don't have to. And then we have the password area. You can auto-generate a password, or you can create the password yourself. Let's go ahead and create the password. If it shows up weak like that, it will not work well for you. So go ahead and change it until you get a nice strong one. There we go. And a strong one's going to be an upper and lower case, and some numbers, and you're going to be at least eight characters. Now we get down to the roles area, and this separates the administrators from the users. So you can say user only, no administrator access, global administrator, or customize administrator where you can customize specific things to allow them to have access to. Let's go ahead and back and go back to where it says user and just let her be a user at this point. Then we want to pick the product license. So if you have purchased licenses, then you will see those licenses here. And then you can go ahead and check the on or off box. And you can choose which plan and which things you want them to have and which things you don't. I'm just randomly selecting things here. And you could also create a user without a product license instead. So that way the user gets created, but you can purchase the license later. Let's go ahead and click Add. And you can see it's going to send the password in an email, and it's going to send it to me as the administrator. So we can click Send Email and Close. And now my new user is there. Let's go ahead and click on Edit a User, and we can see that our new user is there. And we can also make changes to that user as well. So that's how we create a new user in Office 365.